George Weah is undoubtedly one of the best strikers football has ever seen. A true phenomenon in the 1990s, the 1.84 meter tall man tormented the greatest European defenses and above all allowed African football to take a step forward on the world football scene. Here's a look back at the 10 most memorable moments of George Weah's career. It didn't take a genius to realize that Weah was destined for a tremendous career. He arrived in Europe in 1988, more precisely in Monaco. It was Arsene Wenger who launched him into the limelight. It was on August 17 of that year against AJ Auxerre. Weyer went on to establish himself as an outstanding striker combining speed, power and efficiency. In four seasons on the rock, he scored 66 goals and won a French Cup in the process. But his best megantic memory will undoubtedly remain his first African Ballon d'Or win in 1989. Transferred to PSG in the summer of 1992, Weyer went on to write one of the finest pages of his career with the French Capital Club. Weyer scored 55 goals in 137 games, including 8 goals in the 94-95 season. Parisian fans still remember the day the striker humiliated Bayern Munich after a brilliant move. It was on November 23, 1994. With a combination of technical finesse, power and speed, Weyer slalomed between three Bayern players before firing a heavy shot into the top corner past Oliver Kahn. Having become one of the world's leading players in his position, Weyer, who became a naturalized Frenchman during his time in Paris and won the African Ballon d'Or again in 1994, gave a new impetus to his career by joining the Italian league and AC Milan. Following his good performances with PSG in the European Cup, Weyer, who was decisive from the moment he arrived in Lombardy, won the Ballon d'Or on December 26, 1995. With a big smile, a black cap on his head and a large jacket over his shoulders, the striker became the first non-European player to receive this award. The same year, he won the FIFA Footballer of the Year Award, Best African Player of the Year, as well as the 11 Dior for the best player in Europe. In line with these multiple individual distinctions, Weyer, the recent Italian champion, scored a goal on September 8, 1996 against Hellas Verona. The Liberian took off with a ball from his penalty area, crossed the field, made a fool of the opposition defence with a hook and bridges, and then slotted the ball past the opposition keeper. A few weeks later, on January 20th, 1997, George Weyer received the FIFA Fair Play Award in Lisbon. This was despite his violent altercation with George Costa on November 20th, 1996, during the match between FC Porter and AC Milan. The 1995 Ballon d'Or winner is said to have lost his self-control when he heard the racist remarks made against him by the Portuguese player. This case will obviously raise the issue of racism on the football pitch. That notwithstanding, barred at the beginning of the new millennium by a certain Andrei Shevchenko, the striker decided to pack his bags during the winter Makata to go discover the Premier League, destination Chelsea. Within hours of his arrival, Way had donned the hero's armband, scoring a late winner in the first game against Tottenham Spurs. On the decline, Way will complete his European adventure in France, more precisely in Marseille. He played his first match for his new club on October 22, 2000 before crossing paths with PSG for the last time on February 17, 2001. Perhaps bitterly disappointed that he joined enemy ranks, the club from the capital refused to organize his jubilee. It was finally at the Velodrome Stadium in Marseille on June 11, 2005 that the Liberian would definitively turn the page on his professional playing career before devoting himself to politics. In September 2018, at the age of 51, he dusted his old boots by playing a friendly match for Liberia against Nigeria. At the end of this match, his number 14 was retired by the Federation. A legend. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please tell others about our channel, like, share and subscribe. It helps us a lot to continue to create more content on football news. See you soon for a new video. Ciao!